Hey Bolts fans, welcome to Inside the Lightning at Home Edition presented by Outback Steakhouse. I have Blake Coleman with me. Thank you so much for joining me, social distancing style. Uh, you have been through so much in these last few months, a big trade, a move, having your first baby. How are you dealing with all of these changes? Well, thankfully I have a, a great support staff and uh, my wife, obviously, first and foremost. She's handled it uh, better than I could have ever hoped. And then the team obviously has been has been pretty instrumental in, in making us feel at home and um, and giving us all the resources that we need to uh, to enjoy the transition and, and uh, obviously felt like things were kind of getting back to normal and then uh, this all kind of hit and now we're back to just uh, chaos. Uh, yeah, I feel like it could be described as that chaos. It's a good way. <laughs> Um, you mentioned, though, in your Instagram, a perk of being in isolation is being able to watch Charlie grow up this first month of her life. What has been the most surprising part of being um, a first-time parent and watching your child grow? I mean, it's amazing. You know, she's she's changed every day. It seems like I wake up and uh, I still wake up some mornings and can't believe I have a, I have a kid. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's awesome. And, you know, the timing... There's no great timing for something like this to happen, but uh, obviously, you know, it kind of worked out for me and my family. And oh, there's the nugget. Um, oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. Go. <laughs> oh, hey everybody. Hi, hi Charlie. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, she's she's been great. You know, I'm learning uh, that life isn't isn't full days anymore. It's it's kind of become three hour segments for us, um, kind of what, whatever she needs. But honestly, it's, it's helped, you know, pass the time during these days. I think I'd be going crazy, um, uh, if I didn't have something else to focus on. So, uh, she's been great. It's, it's just such a different, different life. And, um, but like I said, she's, she's been a great blessing for us and, and she's got her Tampa blue on and, Hopefully someday she'll, she'll get to come and, and watch a game. Yes, I'm, I'm hoping that happens sooner rather than later. Uh, and I noticed that you and Jordan have different ways of dressing, Charlie. Um, <laughs> where would you say that you get your style from? I don't know if I'm winning the, the dress contest, but um, I like to have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, I'm still learning that there's six-month clothes versus you know newborn clothes, so... She's got a little bit of swagger when I dress her, um, but it's just fun. We actually thought we were having a boy just based off a bunch of old wives' tales that people tell you and, and what you know Jordan's feeling and stuff like that, and then uh, find out we're having a girl, and it's it's been an absolute blessing, and I'm sure any uh, girl dad will tell you it's it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's an amazing feeling, and um, she's already got me around her finger, so I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah. Well... She's adorable. She's so cute. But along those lines, who do you guys think that she looks like? And Jordan, I know you're off camera, but I want to hear your answer too. <laughs> we think she looks like Blake. Uh, yeah, I think her baby stage. She looks like when I look, you know, when I was a baby. Just looking at old photos, I think there's a little resemblance. But for for Charlie's sake, I hope she, you know, starts to look more like mom as she as she grows. She's happy and she's healthy and. Um, she's, she's gaining weight the right way. We just had our appointment and everything's on track. So, um, I guess we're, we're doing okay as parents too. <laughs> oh yeah. You guys are doing awesome. And she looks very comfy there in that little nook. <laughs> you and Jordan, you guys have such a cool story. You told me when we first met that you guys grew up like in the same area or maybe even on the same street. So how did your guys' love story unfold? Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. Like, you know, we grew up in the same neighborhood, like you said, our families knew each other. She was actually friends with my older sister um, when they were really young and they'd play in the neighborhood together. And uh, I guess she was probably over our house, you know, a handful of times and stuff like that. But, uh, and there was just one of those things where, where time went by and we had some similar, you know, friend groups, but never really saw each other or hung out or anything. And um, 20 years later, uh, I scored my first goal against the stars uh, in New Jersey uh, and had a few friends at the game and they were mutual friends of ours and uh, posted a photo and, and Jordan saw it and, and uh, she claims she, she followed me in a friendly fashion, but 
uh, we tell the story very differently. Uh, um, she, you know, she liked what she saw, and uh, <laughs> I actually reached out to her, uh, just asking how the family was doing and checking in. And we kept up for a little bit. I took her out three months later on a on a date, and uh, I took her to Top Golf. Um, I thought maybe if I let her embarrass herself a little bit on the on the golf tee, she'd she'd like me. So it was good, and uh, we've been pretty inseparable since. Okay, Jordan, do you want to say your version of the story? Uh, we can just go with that. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't hear from her when I was in the American League, you know, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I've never watched <laughs> Okay, well, you have a puppy that you named after your guys' neighborhood. Can we see when? Yes. When? Oh. Come here. Sit. Say hey. When? He's uh, freshly groomed, so he's a little... Uh, more poodly than <laughs> than usual, but and what type is, of dog is he? He's a mini golden, which it sounds like there's a handful on the uh, on the team, which is kind of cool. But uh, he's he'll be two in about a month, uh, and he's he's awesome. He's our he's our firstborn. That's what we call him, and he's uh he's probably lost a little bit of the love that he is used to. But we try to try to keep him included. And, um, we actually caught him snuggling Charlie last night, so that was pretty pretty cool. Oh my goodness! And how is he doing with everything? All of the changes, Charlie, and the move, and now getting a lot of time with you guys. He's good. He gets a little stressed out in new environments, so it took him a little bit. We were in the hotel there for well, Jordan's there for a couple weeks, and then we actually brought Charlie home to the Marriott, um, which is just you know how you envision bringing your your first kid uh to their to their home um but he's he's done well he's adjusted and you know we're finally into a place i would say we're settling down but it's basically a storage unit here right now and we're moving out of here in a couple months again so it's it's been crazy but we're uh we're enjoying it and we're we're happy to be uh, in a good spot what do your days look like day to day (sighs) it's pretty much groundhog day around here um wake up uh, or I got a Peloton. I hopped on that bandwagon, and um, I think the uh, the arena gym has slowly been getting plucked apart. It seems like every time I try to go back there, just if I need to get something, uh, half the weight room's missing. So I grab some dumbbells myself, and um, you know I work out here in the mornings. Um, you know Mark's great. He sends over some some content that we can follow, and. Um, so, you know, we're trying to stay in shape. We're, we're hoping and expecting to play. And, um, you know, and, and if that's the case, you got to be ready to go. So I'll start my mornings with that um, pretty much consistently every day. And then uh, it's about the time she'll be ready to eat and get her diaper changed and all that. So I try to do some dad duties. And, um, and after that, we try to go on walks at night or anything to stay sane and, and get out of the place for a little bit. Yeah, you have to keep up a little bit of a, a, a routine, but then also mix in some different things. Who's your favorite class instructor on the Peloton? Oh, I'm pretty new, but uh, I pretty much stick to that Alex Toussaint. I don't know if okay uh, if you ride or not, but uh, I like him a lot. He's pretty he's pretty motivating, and he's you know kind of seems like a man's man on there and. Uh, I need to branch out. I've got to be honest. I've pretty much stuck to him, but um, I've heard some some good things about some other people, so I need to to branch out a little bit. Yeah, I like Alex. He's he's a great one. Um, Cody Rigsby is really fun. He like adds some some like spice and fun into to the rides. So those okay. are good. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with having yeah. some fun while you're working. Yeah, that's what I think, <laughs> and it keeps my mind that I'm not you know pedaling so hard or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Are there any uh, TV shows that you and Jordan are binging or can't get enough of right now? It's like we used to be, you know, big TV shows, big movies, like loved it. And I feel like now it's like if we can get enough time to watch an episode, it's like a big deal. But um, we're we're keeping up. We watch The Blacklist, um, which is we, we follow that live. So once a week I've seen Dexter. Uh, but Jordan hadn't, so we're we're rewatching, or I'm rewatching Dexter uh, with Jordan, and then obviously that Tiger King uh, that has been all the rage lately. We've we've chimed into a couple episodes. Um, Julian actually put me onto that one, um, 
and that one's pretty uh pretty entertaining. And then Ozarks, obviously, the third season just came out, so we're uh, about one episode into that right now. And uh, but it's just it's hard. It's you know it's like we start an episode and then you know life happens with her and she's hungry and pause the episode and then we just never get back to it. But um, all good things and hopefully we'll finish Ozarks at some point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got. You've got a cute little one keeping you busy, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, no, it's good. Well, you're pretty active on Instagram. Um, how <laughs> likely will it be for Blake Coleman fans to get a TikTok channel? We were just talking about that. I don't know. I feel like I missed the wave. I'm like, uh, I thought I was too old for it. But I'll, as uh, as time goes on, all my buddies are popping on there and doing some pretty goofy uh dance videos and I don't know I always said at my wedding I, that was my one and done dance routine but who knows maybe we'll uh, get into the game obviously Jordan was a dancer and likes to have some fun so she's put in a few soft pushes to, to get on that TikTok. I think you guys could uh, could go viral on TikTok. There, I feel like you guys could get, get some good things together. Throw Charlie Wynn in the mix and you're golden. <laughs> Let him steal the show. Yeah we might. We might. I mean <laughs> If this goes on for a while, we're going to need something something else to look to do.